Here we have a 14900KS Intel CPU that came in for repair. And you see half a CPU here because the customer attempted to delete the CPU. When I say deleting, you split the CPU open so you can change the thermals inside, whether it's liquid metal or thermal paste. I mean, how else do people damage their devices? Either liquid metal or they do not go by the rule. If it's not broken, do not fix it. They try to improve the performance by 5 degrees, 10 degrees, 3 degrees, and they end up with an expensive broken device like this. How much is this CPU? 14900KS. The KS version is on the higher end. It's overclockable and has integrated graphics. And while the customer attempted to split this CPU open, he knocked off only, only every component on that CPU, except for those here. So he knocked off four components, one, two, three, and four. I've worked with almost every CPU in the market, including the 12900, the 13900, the KS version, non-KS version, Ryzen CPUs. I mean, if you search Northridge Fix CPU, you will find a lot of videos on our channel. Everything from Ryzen CPUs, the 5950, to Intel 20 core 8160, to going over the Jace to Sense video. 13900K, 13900KS, Ryzen 9 pin damage. And the good thing is, I worked on those so many times, I know the values of those components. That's a big plus. That's not only a big plus, but it's the only way to get the job done. Apply original genuine Amtac flux. And we're going to be using our NF.mini pen, the Northridge Fix NF Mini. Fume extractor on. And I think, let me stabilize that CPU because it's going to keep moving. Let me grab a board holder. Just like that. The magic of NF dot mini pen. Wow. Amazing. Now we're gonna be using the Northridge Fix SMD books. We have one capacitor to the far left and we have three resistors to the right. The capacitor to the far left is a 100 nanofarads value, size 402. So we're going to be looking inside our book for the 100 nanofarads value. And I got it right here. Those books are a lifesaver because I do not have to order every time I need a resistor or every time I need a capacitor of a certain value. I do not need to go online and order. I have a book with 8,500 components inside. Resistor size 201, 402, 603, 805, 1206. And same goes for capacitors. If you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, just log into our site. You can buy all 10 books. You can buy the Northridge Fix NF.mini soldering pen. We have it in a red version now, the newest version. It comes with three tips, the knife tip, conical tip, and bend tip, or you can choose to have one of the tips. 
We are a major distributor of Inventec Amtec Flux. So just add to cart whatever you need, soldering stations, hot air stations, thermal camera, flux, braid wig, tweezers, whatever you need. Add to cart, check out, pay, and we almost always ship out same day. So right now what I want to do, I'm not going to use hot air for every single component. Maybe we can secure that component from one side or two sides just slightly. We'll do the same here, same here, same here, and then we can apply hot air all at once so we do not keep exposing that CPU to heat. The other way of doing it is using our hot tweezers. I mean, there are 101 ways to skin a cat. And right now, because I'm not using the anti-glare light, it's hard to see. But how would you know what the anti-glare light is if you do not suffer and look at all that glare like we just did? How would you know what happiness is if you never experienced sadness? How would you know what hunger is if you always have food to eat? Let's turn on the anti-glare light. Beautiful. So we secure the component from one edge. We can do the second edge also, no problem. And that's more than enough. Now the second component on the list to the far left is a 150 ohm resistor. We're gonna grab our resistor book, 150 ohms. And I got it right here. We have every value inside that book. Just grab some flux from the board and go like this. This information you only see on the Northridge Fix channel. Who would tell you to add flux at the tip of your tweezer to grab a component? So right now we do not need to worry about aligning the components or cleaning the board or bridges or whatever the case may be. All I want to do is just put the components in place. Then we can use hot air to make everything perfect. Now the third component from the left is a 2.2K resistor. And finally, we have the one on the right. The value is 100 ohms. Now we can use our hot air station. We are done. We did an amazing job. And whatever black stuff you see here on the board is just adhesive. It's how the two pieces connect to each other. We are done. The customer now has a working 4900K CPU, and we're gonna put that CPU back in its original casing because the customer mailed in the whole box like this. 
If we open this up, we can see the other half of the CPU right here. So this one will go inside. And this will go inside as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll do something else in the next video.